What is up my dude and dudettes and welcome back to TellerTube. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the subreddit r slash entitled parents. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date with my latest videos. And with that being said, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. My father verbally hates and mocks my work while still using me constantly for gifts and cards. So I live with my parents. I do everything and anything they say for sake of keeping the peace and knowing that it's their house, their rules. My curfew is 7.30 p.m. I'm nearly 20, etc, etc. Because I'm not allowed to leave the house frequently, I spend a lot of time with my art. I do art as a hobby and recently I've been trying to get into commissioning and freelance work for the sake of saving money. 10 year old me would have wanted to pursue an art career, to be honest. My father always mocks my work. When I was drawing in my first sketchbook when I was in the 5th grade, he would look over my shoulder and be like, That's the scariest thing I've ever seen. That girl is very ugly. You spend a lot of time on something you're not good at. He used to call me over to the computer and show me videos of professional artists and say, These are real artists. You aren't one. Anything that isn't hyper-realism is bad art, according to him. And since my art is not realistic enough for him, he says, You just like drawing trashy anime and Disney characters. Fun fact, my art style is not like manga, Disney, or anything vaguely similar, and I'm a personal fan of neither of those things. Nothing wrong with them, by the way, it's just preference. That being said, whenever there's an obligatory card or gift to be given, he has the audacity to demand I produce a handmade piece of work for it, no questions asked. Most recently, it was a graduation card. He made me recreate it thrice because he didn't like the paper, subject, writing style, etc, etc. I don't even know the kid that well, I spent a lot of time on my art. I'm trying to make money because I'm paying my way through school. It's frustrating that he thinks he can use me for my art anytime he wants while playing the other end and constantly hating what I produce when it's not specifically for his benefit. <laughs> oh man. Oh my goodness, what is this garbage? Oh yeah, by the way, can you make me an extremely detailed card? Thanks. Midterm Project Several years ago, I worked as a German teacher at a local middle school. I was hired as a long-term sub for a single year teaching an intro class which lasted three and a half months. Around the half point of each trimester, the students were supposed to be given some sort of midterm. But because I didn't like giving paper tests, I instead had them do a project. Look up one item in a German dictionary for each of the 12 colors we had just finished learning in class, and make a small picture book with 12 pages, and I even went out of my way to cut paper and staple it together to make books for everyone. I had kids drawing their own pictures, printing them out from Google, handing them in early because they finished them so quickly, and even competing to see who could come up with the weirdest objects. It was a fun assignment, an easy A, and very informative for the kids, the perfect school project. However, one girl didn't hand her assignment in, I asked her about it, and she swore she handed it in, but I didn't have it in my inbox. I searched everywhere, but I couldn't find it, so I know I didn't misplace it. Her mother emails me the next day and demands to know where the project is. I explained to her that I never received it and therefore couldn't give her a grade until I received it. I explained the grading policy was to lose 10% for every class day that the assignment wasn't handed in. Class met every other day and that she could hand it in late if she wanted to. The mother insisted I was lying and went to my principal about it. The principal asked me to explain the assignment to him, then rolled his eyes and apologized, saying the girl's mother pulled the same thing with a project the previous year in another class, and that the kid was never held accountable for anything. I explained the grading policy to him as established by my department, and he tells me to just keep reminding the girl of the assignment, and eventually called the mother and told her once again that this is our grading policy and that we can't make an exception. Her response. But my daughter worked hard on the project. She works hard in class. She deserves an A. I had to laugh to myself. I had almost two dozen kids in that class who deserved A's. They deserved A's because they earned A's for handing in A-level work. It's been a few weeks and I still don't have the book in my hands and now I'm more or less forced to give the girl a zero. Between when the project was assigned and the next incident, I gave the girl at least three blank books, none of which were handed in. The very same day I entered the zero in the gradebook though, I get called back into the principal's office because apparently the mother had called the superintendent. He said, just so she stops wasting the superintendent's time, can you just make an exception to the grading policy? I sigh and agree to do so, and he responds, When she hands in the assignment, give her whatever grade you really think she deserves other than a zero. I nod and leave the office. I send the mother an email with our ultimatum. 
She has until the last day of school to hand in the assignment. If it's 100% correct, I'll give her full credit, which is obviously more than fair considering we're a good 15 class meetings past the project due date. On the very last day of school, I get the project. It's only half done. I enter a grade of 50% in the grade book, and within seconds, I get an angry email from the mother that is CC'd to the principal, the superintendent, and several other people whose names I don't even recognize. I responded with a screenshot of the previous email I sent her with our terms, shut down my laptop, and handed it in to the IT office. On the way out the door, the principal actually thanks me for everything I did and says she's going to try to get you fired for this, you know. We share a laugh and I leave the building for the last time. You can't get someone fired who doesn't work there after all. <laughs> yeah, Karen, joke's on you because I'm actually a substitute teacher and I don't work here full time. Nice try. Wash your hands, please. So it seems that the cafe I work at attracts the crazy ones. For background, I work at a cafe that's doing takeout only and having employees wear masks in compliance with the city and provincial orders right now, and for the most part, we're doing pretty well. We've even got to the point of where we hired one new employee to deal with the upcoming summer increase that we think is coming. The person we hired though was a huge mistake. We live in an area where it's just where the wealthier and normal areas of the city meet, so we see a lot of both kinds of people in here. It just so turns out that this 16 year old new employee fell within the wealthier side. As usual, EK is entitled kid, EM entitled mother, me, man is manager. We start our story off on entitled kid's first day in after his telephone interview. I'm in the front getting ready to work and ready to train him when entitled kid comes out into the front espresso bar rather quick and wearing his mask improperly, his nose not covered and his upper lip basically hanging out. Me. First you need to fix your mask and second did you wash your hands? Entitled kid checking his phone. I washed my hands at home. Okay, the rules here, even if there wasn't a pandemic, that you wash your hands before you start working. And put your phone away, no phones while you're up front. Entitled kid looking up from his phone. Huh? Go wash your hands and fix your mask. Entitled kid giving me the evil eye. No, I washed my hands at home. What, do you think I'm infected? Me, pointing to the health authority sign, just wash your hands, please. I washed them at home, why am I gonna do it again? Manager cleaning parts of the espresso machine. Entitled kid, you need to wash your hands and wear your mask properly over your mouth and nose. At that point, entitled kid grumbles and trudges over to the hand wash sink. Out of the corner of my eye, I see him just wet his hands, shake them dry, and come back. Manager seemed to see much more than that. Manager, speaking in her patted and mom voice, Wash your hands properly, please. Water and soap for 20 seconds. Entitled kid. Screw you. Manager dropping all politeness, you're fired. Entitled kid, wide-eyed and shocked. What? You're fired. Return your apron, please, and get out. Entitled kid, now angry. What, cause I won't waste water and soap? Manager, frustrated herself. Because you're being disrespectful, not only to me, but to other employees. I'm not going to tolerate. Seriously, you're gonna be that guy? Yes, I am, now get out. Entitled kid threw his apron on the ground and stormed out, not before giving everyone the finger and yelling some racial slurs at my manager and promising we'd be hearing from him. Later that day, we got an angry phone call from his mother. I was lucky enough to be in the office when the call came in and manager was nice enough to put it on speakerphone. It starts midway through the call below. Entitled mother. So you better have a good reason for firing entitled kid without giving him a reason. Manager. I did. Did he tell you? Yes, he did, but I don't accept it. Uh-huh. Entitled mother silent for a few seconds before speaking. Well. What did he tell you? That you fired him for not washing his hands. He was also highly disrespectful towards me and the barista trying to train him and he called me a racial slur on the way out in front of a group of customers. So what? I'm not about to tolerate that kind of thing in my cafe. If someone else hires him, fine by me, but I'm going to be warning other business owners in the area about him. That's libel. Then sue me, but I'm pretty sure no one will want him if he acts like that with them. Entitled mother getting higher pitched in tone. You're gonna regret that. Uh-huh. My son is in culinary sciences at school. Uh-huh. He's already a culinary prodigy. And a racist. He's gonna get hired at another cafe. Not after they hear. And that cafe's gonna drive you out of business. 
Okay, entitled mother silent for a few seconds. Why aren't you scared? I know how hard things are with the Chinese flu right now. I bet you're gonna go bankrupt in the next few days. This conversation is over. What? My decision is final. Your son is fired. No! I'll be alerting all businesses about your son. You will not, you racist slur. At that point, manager reached over and just hung out without saying anything else. We disconnected the phone for the rest of the day and while we haven't heard anything directly from Entitled Mother or Entitled Kid, other businesses have been alerted and we've already heard that Entitled Kid has tried to apply at other places and none of them have hired him on manager's advice. <laughs> oh my goodness. You can't fire my son for being rude and saying racist comments. Actually, I can, Karen, and your son is fired permanently. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash that like button as it would really help me out. Subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date with my latest videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.